Mark Twain Selected Works Woman, an Opinion Speech given at the Newspaper Correspondence Club Banquet in Washington, D.C. on January 11, 1868 Mr. President, I do not know why I should have been singled out to receive the greatest distinction of the evening. For so the office of replying to the toast to woman has been regarded in every age. I do not know why I have received this distinction, unless it be that I am a trifle less homely than the other members of the club. But be this as it may, Mr. President, I am proud of the position, and you could not have chosen anyone who would have accepted it more gladly, or labored with a heartier good will to do the subject justice than I. Because, sir, I love the sex. I love all the women, sir irrespective of age or color. Human intelligence cannot estimate what we owe to woman, sir. She sews on our buttons. She mends our clothes. She ropes us in at the church fairs. She confides in us. She tells us whatever she can find out about the little private affairs of the neighbors. She gives us good advice, and plenty of it. She gives us a piece of her mind sometimes, and sometimes all of it. She soothes our aching brows. She bears our children. Ours is a general thing. In all the relations of life, sir, it is but just and a graceful tribute to woman to say of her that she is a brick. Wheresoever you place woman, sir, in whatsoever position or estate, she is an ornament to that place she occupies and a treasure to the world. Look at the noble names of history. Look at Cleopatra. Look at Desdemona. Look at Florence Nightingale. Look at Joan of Arc. Look at Lucretia Borgia. Well, suppose we let Lucretia slide. Look at Joyce Heth. Look at Mother Eve. You need not look at her unless you want to, but he was ornamental, sir, particularly before the fashions changed. I repeat, sir, look at the illustrious names of history. Look at the widow McCree. Look at Lucy Stone. Look at Elizabeth Cady Stanton. Look at George Francis Train. And, sir, I say it with bowed head and deepest veneration, Look at the mother of Washington. She raised a boy that could not lie. Could not lie. But he never had any chance. It might have been different with him if he had belonged to a newspaper correspondence club. I repeat, sir, that in whatsoever position you place a woman, she is an ornament to society and a treasure to the world. As a sweetheart, she has few equals, and no superiors. As a cousin, she is convenient. As a wealthy grandmother, with an incurable distemper, she is precious. As a wet nurse, she has no equal among men. What, sir, would the peoples of the earth be without woman? They would be scarce, sir, almighty scarce. Then let us cherish her. Let us protect her. 
Let us give her our support, our encouragement, our sympathy. Ourselves, if we get a chance. But just an aside, Mr. President, woman is lovable, gracious, kind of heart, beautiful, worthy of all respect, of all esteem, of all deference. Not any here will refuse to drink her health right cordially in this bumper of wine, for each and every one of us has personally known and loved and honored the very best one of them all, his own mother.